So after you'd been what was it England, Turkey, and America, were you, were you just desperate to get back back home, back to the back to your house in Kelly? No, I was actually when I came back, I was going to go to Toronto. Um, I had an offer f from well, there would have been there was going to be an offer if I, um, had I managed to get it sorted with with, with, with Portland, but because they had ended up um, cancelling the contract because. You, like the MLS on you and, the, and Portland pay to the MLS yes, and, right. and then Toronto still on the MLS uh, sorry the MLS still on Toronto you couldn't because I took my money from Portland I couldn't go and um, so I couldn't justify that to the missus going to Toronto for nothing could I <laughs> so for, for me I came back and I, I was fed up with football to be honest yeah. I, I genuinely I genuinely was you know I think from, from where I had been um, at the end of the 2010 league uh, the end of the 2010 um, year to where I was in 2012-13, I was scunnered with it, to be honest. I mean, I, I was, you know, I hadn't played, I had, you know, and, and I had been away from my family, and you know, I think I wanted to come back home and, and, and enjoy life and play football again. Um, I, th I think it was. I went back to Kilmarnock and played the last three, four months of the season then, um, but I hadn't played in. Well, I came back home in October, and that was, I think I went in there at the end of February, March, um, or something like that. So, I mean, I hadn't played in four or five months as well, but when I went back and scored a couple of goals, and you, you get the buzz back, I'm ready to go. Um, and, I, and over that summer, um, I had a couple of offers to go back down south, but it wasn't a, to be fair, Big Davy tried to take me to, to Sheffield United, and I felt bad because it, it was something that I wanted to do, um, go back down there and prove to myself that I could play in England. Um, but I just there was a lot of things that just wasn't right for me at that time. Um, and I just felt as if I'd been away for the last three years. I wanted to come home and as I said, I'd missed a, a huge chunk of my kids grow, uh, growing up and I, I wanted to be part of that. Um, I'd, as I said, I'd missed that much. So I think when I came back to, to Kilmarnock, I, I really enjoyed um, the following season under Alan Johnson. Um, you know, I think I'd went and scored 22, 23 goals in the league that year and um, managed to get back in the Scotland squad. You know, inside from what, 14 months, I, w I mean, I was I was going to wrap it because I'd, mm -hmm. I'd had enough. I'd, I was, you know, pissed off with everything really. Um, you know, and I just felt as if, no, when I, when I knuckled down over the summer, came back and um, got myself back and, you know, it's amazing what a couple of goals do. And then you start, well, I'm going for more, I'm going for more. And it just went from there. Um, and as I said, we stayed up that year um, with the skinny nose and uh, skinny teeth, sorry, and it was um, it was a good season in the end up, and a personal note, but you know I, to get back in the Scotland squad as well, and, I, and I, to play with that calibre of player and train again, I thought I'm, I want to get back to that level again, um, but it wasn't to be. And then back to Rangers again. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How was that? Disaster, Different, to be honest. Why, well, think? Des Just the club. Um, there was a lot of things had changed, and I think there was a the, the standard of player for me was was the big thing. Uh -huh. um, no disrespect to the ones that was there, but from going from internationals every week to go back, and I think were you definite on going back, or did you have second thoughts, or? As soon as they came calling. Well, I spoke to Delta to go to Aberdeen. I'd, you know, I, and, I, and I probably would have went to Aberdeen. Um, but there was a few, there was a few things there, and I had to phone Dale and said, "Look, I, I wanted time to, to think about it." And, and over that time, um, and to be fair to Del, he didn't want to wait, um, and that's that's why Derek is the manager he is um, in terms of. I need to get somebody in, I need to do this, and you know, because he was preparing for the, for the upcoming season. And, and I think for me to go back, um, as I said, when I left, there was international players galore. The standard was through the roof. Um, you know, there was no slacking, you couldn't hide, you couldn't do anything. And when I went back, it was just a, it was totally different. Um, you know, it's still the same people. Mm -hmm. You know, the same people were still in the building, the same club, the same, um, you know the facilities and everything were the exact same, but the 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 player was different, um, and I and I struggled to adapt to 
you say, I, th I think that for me relying on my teammates as, as I've done the majority of my career um, in terms of creating chances and, and things like that, that wasn't happening. And as I said, there, there was a difficult period for me um, again there. And, and I think as soon as it, off the back of scoring 22 goals per man, I thought I'll go here and it'll be easy and everything. But again, for me, the, the, the Championship of Scotland is a difficult league. Um, you know, and we found that out. I mean, Hearts came down, um, Hibs were there. It was it was difficult. Um, we should have done a lot better than what we did. There's no doubt about it. But um, was it hard having Ali McCoy as your assistant to then being your manager? No, no you know, I, I don't. I mean, that that, that wasn't a, that wasn't a problem. Um, you know, I, and then Kenny McDill had took over for, for a few games, um, and then Stuart McCall had come in. You know, even at the time, if you'd have went and got Jose Mourinho, if you'd have went and got Walter, it wouldn't have made a difference. As I said, the, the team was all over the place, you know, individually looking after each another, um, myself included. Um, you know, so it wasn't a good environment to be in as, as such. Um, but as I said, these things happen in football and it was... It wasn't great to be part of it, especially what had happened the last time. I was part of, you know, a, a great squad, great results, great for the, for the football club, the history of it. Um, you know, to, to find myself, you know, involved in something that was it wasn't what I had knew it as um, before. Um, you know, and, and it wasn't it wasn't great. Um, but as I said, it's football, and I, but I still I still think that what happened was probably what Rangers needed. Um, was 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 that coming to the end? Um, because had players been on, you know, because I mean I could quite easily have, have, have signed. Um, because when I went back, I mean I was offered the two year, but I wanted to. I didn't want to. I mean I wanted to to go and score goals, um, to get promoted, and then hopefully take it from there. Back my own ability to go into that. It didn't happen, um, and I found myself out the door. But as I said, I think it was the best thing for Rangers, because had. The majority of those players still had another year's contract. They would still have been there. Yeah, I think yeah. it was it was able to, to to get everybody out and start again. And 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 um, you know whatever manager was coming in, Mark Warburton got the job. But whoever was was uh, was coming in had a clean slate to, to work with. And and I think that was important for the development um, of Rangers at the time. So you're back at Kelly now, mate, scoring goals again. Um, and then the media, the coaching. Was that always something in the back of your mind that you wanted to do? Um, well, first of all, when I, when I went back to Kelly, um, you know, it's, it's always been a, a kind of relegation battle we've been in as such. But you know, I think last year we kind of got ourselves out of that and, and, and moved on. And hopefully this year it's the exact same. You know, we've got a fantastic group of young uh, boys there who I think will have a fantastic career in, in, in football if they continue to do the, the things that they've been asked to do, train properly. Um, and performing a game, you know, I, I think there's a lot of times, a lot of, when you put too many youngsters together that it can have the opposite effect and I think that's why Lee has, has went and addressed and maybe brought in a couple of experienced ones to to help nurture the young ones along. Um, so hopefully, as I said, this season's, um, you know, on a par with last year, if not better. I mean, I think it would be important for the club to get a, a cup run, even though we didn't get off to the, the, the best of starts, but I mean, it would be, it would be important to get a cup run. Um, you know, and, and uh, you know, going back to the other stuff regarding the media, the coaching, I've finished all my badges now. Um, you know, with, with, with UEFA, uh, sorry, with, with the SFA, which was a fantastic experience, um, all the way through it to you know your your B license to your A license to finishing your pro license. It was a long, hard shift, especially if you're not any good with a computer. <laughs> Can't even read and write half the times. But you know, for, for me, it was it was um, it was challenging. Took me out my comfort zone. Um, you know, able to go and see parts of the world, um, our teams, I, I, was, I went over to Feyenoord for, for a few days, excellent facilities, um, the youngsters watched them, it was brilliant. Um, you know, so it was, it was good to be part of that, you know, I've, I've helped with, um, you know, Command at 20s as well, which I've really, really enjoyed. Are you um, a shout or are you a <sighs> I've got my moments, yeah. um, but I think you need to be careful, as I said, that the good managers will know the ones they can do it. We'll get a reaction out of shouting. Um, they'll also get a reaction and maybe not saying somebody, but pulling them to the side and stuff like that. Um, having individual chats with them and that. Um, you know, so for me, look, I'm at the stage now where I want to concentrate on, 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 you know, scoring as many goals as I can. But I think you need to look long term as well, and that's why 
I look at a lot of footballers um, where they come to the end and they start scrambling about trying to do what they need to do um, to, to try and stay in the I'm game. That's what I'm doing with this. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know, is it, but you know, you, you're you're putting yourself out there to go and do it. Uh -huh. You know, for me, I've, I've um, you know I've done the radio, I've done you know the the TV work, I've done um, my column. You know, so so it might be when I finish that this one ticks my box, this one, that, and rather than finishing and. You know, every night you're out of the house, oh, I'm going to do the radio, I'm going to do the TV, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. Trying to, because I think when you start to scramble about and you start to chase something, um, it very seldom works out the way yeah. you want it to work it out. I think when you, when you actually plan and structure things um, and you know where you want to get to, um, that, you know, that's when things happen. Um, but, you know, for, for me, I, I do like the, the, the coaching side, I do like the media side, so... I'm still playing. Um, whatever it takes me, we'll wait and see. Um, but I think right now, um, you know, my main aim is to to contribute what I can for for Kilmarnock Football Club. Perfect. Thanks very much, Big No problem. Cheers. Cheers.